Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something that I really haven't done before but I love watching these videos. It is a clean and decorate with me and I will be styling my kitchen and coffee bar for fall. So I do still live with my parents but I am kind of the seasonal changer. I love fall and Christmas time and I always decorate our house. I always have. Like my mother doesn't really enjoy decorating, but I absolutely love it. So we're starting off today. I'm just cleaning, giving everything a good clean. And we're gonna start off with this little candle holder that I actually just picked up. I'm gonna light a fall candle, pumpkin peanut brittle. It smells so good, you guys. It smells like peanut butter. And I figured this wouldn't be too much of a pumpkin-y scent because um, my family doesn't actually like pumpkin scents, <laughs> only I do. So we're just gonna light a candle to kind of get us in the mood and we're gonna start cleaning. So while I'm cleaning, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off some of the things that I had from summertime. So I had some little flowers in a vase and I'm gonna take off this honey candle and we're gonna replace all that stuff with some fall decor. So this is how I had my coffee bar set up for spring and summer, just some like lemon themed stuff. So I'm going to take all of this down and give it a good clean. Here's kind of a quick overview of everything that I want to put on my tiered tray. So I want to go with kind of that light green look and I really was inspired by this cute little pie pan that I got from Hobby Lobby and the Autumn Vibes candle that I found from Ray Dunn. So those were kind of my inspiration behind getting the like sage green look for my tiered tray. So I have this little truck from the Target Dollar Spot, so stinking cute. And then I also have this pumpkin, which is actually a pick from Hobby Lobby. Learned that one from Sparkly Blonde One. If you guys aren't watching her fall decor videos, you're really missing out. So I also have these little houses. I didn't actually end up using those though. I have a beautiful checkered pumpkin from Hobby Lobby and then this tiny little fall pumpkin, which I also did not end up using. I had a little too much ambition. I was never gonna use that much stuff. So here you'll see me kind of arranging things back and forth. Um, that's what I usually do and that's what I've heard from other decor videos is they just kind of like go back and forth and see what looks the best. And I really did um, set it up how I thought I liked. I had my mom come in and look at it and then we rearranged it. So what you see at the end of this is not what it ended up being. Um, in the, the close-up clips, that is what it actually ends up being. So I'll let you guys just enjoy me kind of rearranging things a little bit. 
So right now I just have all of my fall decor laid out on my kitchen table and I'm showing you guys my favorite Ray Dunn mugs. This is actually my favorite mug of all time, fall y'all. It's so cute. I'm going to leave that one out so I can actually drink from it. But I also have some candles that I found, pumpkin latte candle and then the pumpkin spice candle smells really, really good. I tried to open it but I couldn't. I actually just found a coffee canister. so. Very lucky. I have these beautiful measuring cups and then all of my florals. I have a little pumpkin wreath and I just wanted to show you guys kind of an overview of everything that I have. Um, I don't end up using all of this, but yeah. So this little bucket that I'm moving around is actually what we keep our skinny syrups in. So if you've never seen these, we have so many flavors. Um, they come from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're very cheap, zero calories, zero sugar. I highly recommend them. And now I'm just taking this table runner from the Target Dollar Spot and we're gonna get this coffee area set up.
So right here I'm using two picks and some vase filler to create my kitchen table centerpiece. So the picks are both from Joann's and I didn't get to record the part um, where I stuck in the vase filler, but it's just some pine cone and little tiny orange pumpkin vase filler from Hobby Lobby. So I used two picks per vase and it turned out really, really beautiful. So that is all that I have for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed getting in that fall mood, that cozy fall mood with me. And let me know what you thought of this video. I haven't ever done a voiceover like this before, so please let me know if you have any questions or if you think I can improve in any way, I'm totally open. And if you have questions on where any of the decor is from, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.